Oh, God, I cherish these moments. Mm -hmm. And you've dropped one kid off before you have to pick up the other. There's no silence anymore. I guilt trip you into having a second kid so the first kid's not lonely. Clearly a myth perpetuated by the diaper conglomerates. <laughs> oh my God, is that yours? No. Thanks for letting me wait in your car. After school pickup is hell. Oh God, no, thank you. I have been dying for some adult conversation. Mir's gone and learned the words to wheels on the bus and it has literally been going <laughs> round and round. Just tell her the bus crashed into a semi-trailer and no one survived. <laughs> <laughs> This feels naughty. Are we allowed to bitch about our kids? Of course we are. Like this morning, getting dressed for school. My kid tucked his shirt into his shorts with his shorts pulled up so high, he was giving himself a wedgie. I thought I can't blame another kid for wanting to steal his lunch money. So I tucked an extra $5 into his backpack. <laughs> well, my kid's a tattletale. The other day, Kelsey turned on me. My husband takes me aside for a word and says he's heard I've been letting our toddler play with his iPad all day long. <laughs> oh, so I took Kelsey aside and I said, listen here, if your sister can play internet poker at the age of two, you had better get on her good side now. Your toddler can play poker? Yeah. She won me 150 bucks of Bitcoin. Wow. I should get my toddler onto that. Except he's more of a how many fingers can I stick in my mouth kind well, of kid. at least he's got his fingers in his mouth. He's keeping them off your anniversary vase, which was the last nice thing you had left in your house. Uh, smashed it. Into tiny little shards of glass. Now kids are assholes. Yeah. Oh, God. That's them. Yours and mine. Oh, maybe they haven't seen us. They've recognized the car. It's too late. You ready? I guess all good things have to come to an end. One, two, three. Hey, hey you are, darling.